This is our final 24 hours in Turkey. No, seriously, we have to really drive slow. And now on the last day, we're here stuck on the side of the road. Hey there, we're Chris, Charlene and Honey. And right now, we're exploring Turkey with our home on wheels. We're leaving Istanbul! And we're so happy because it's so chaotic here. And we're going to park our van today next to the beach. It's our final night and we're going by the sea for the last time. So here in Istanbul, they sell water in the streets. And today we bought two bottles of water because we don't have any and we need to go and buy. So yes, we found that really good because we were thirsty and they came right in front of us. <laughs> For once we're like, yes. Yeah. Yes, come, we need water. <sighs> Uh, this one is uh, practicing health and safety though, it's got a highlight. Ah, uh, uh, yes, one. yes. He's a professional. Sad day today. This is our final 24 hours in Turkey. Can't believe I'm saying that. Yes, I'm so sad to be honest. Very sad. The last few months have been absolutely stunning here. Uh, but all good things come to an end, so I guess... Mm -hmm. We have to go. <laughs> We can't stay here. We've made it to this place called Silvestri or Silvestri, I Silvestri, think. Silvestri, I think. Silvestri, something like that. It's basically about an hour away from the city and tomorrow we'll be leaving from here and crossing the border back to Bulgaria um, to head back to Europe. The amazing thing is that we're alone here, but the bad thing is that it's windy outside yeah, and we are right next to the sea. I I was thinking maybe I swim, but when it's too windy, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, Charlene's one last swim here in Turkey has been ruined because of the wind. No, maybe tomorrow morning. Maybe tomorrow, yes. Maybe tomorrow Fingers tomorrow morning, crossed. Yeah. One more chance. So, yeah, just checked and this place is called Silivre and... It looks amazing. There is a lovely esplanade. There are a lot of cafeterias here and there is the beautiful sea. <laughs> yeah, and obviously in the area before the Esplanade, there's like a lot of grass as well. So all the Turkish families are doing their barbecues and I wasn't expecting this, it. to be honest, because this side of Turkey, I don't know, I thought that it was very different, you know, yeah, than... It, it is, it is different, but... It is, yes, but... Nice place to spend our final nice, life. yes. Here on this side, it's very shallow, but the color isn't that turquoise, it's just... I don't know, like, not a mirrored green, just different type of green. <laughs> but it's still nice, it's still nice. This is our last time that we are going to see the sea. For a while, yeah. For a while. I'm really glad we left the crazy, busy Istanbul to spend our final night here. Yes, I think it's going to be a perfect night because it's very quiet. Yeah, just a little bit of wind. Yes. But as well as that, we can kind of gather our thoughts and kind of appreciate what we did here in Turkey. And we did a lot. Think back on some of the great memories that we've got now. Because <laughs> Istanbul was crazy, right? So it's like you don't really have time to kind of just like relax, meditate a bit and think and remember like what you've done. Yeah. Just boom, 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 boom. We did so much. And yet we still have places that we would like to visit in the future. So earlier on when we stopped at the gas station, we heard this sound. We thought like someone reversed into us, but there was no one about. And now I know what it was. This happened. Ah, I need to try and. And I removed all of the jackets from there, and I put 
only the like shirts and tops that we have well there are a bit of jackets but you know not a lot it's not going to hang there no no it's broken are you sure or does it just come off oh shit it's broken we should do some tape Charlene's got too many clothes. No, and that's I don't. That's why. <gasps> yeah, I might have too many clothes. <laughs> but it should do the trick for today at least. And I forgot to mention that before we leave Turkey, we stopped by to do some final shopping. So the van is a complete mess. We need to clean this up as well. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to cook liver and hearts today. <laughs> it's my first time, so I have no knowledge in this but it's really healthy for us. So we are super tired today and we're not gonna be moving from the van to be honest. There's a couple of, well, there's a big group actually of guys that turned up here and I think they're gonna be camping for the night. So they're setting up the tables, the tents and everything. And we're just uh, cooking something to eat now while Charlene is. What we've got, shall we eat meat and some liver. Yeah. So we have a, wanna try eating some liver today and Charlene's going to start cooking again because in Turkey we have been eating out once or twice every day. So now that we're heading back to Europe, we're going to kind of get back into the routine of cooking in the van every day. We might eat out, you know, once in a while, but mainly cooking in the van. Well. Yeah, even for the money, you know, it's the price to eat out in Turkey is so cheap that it was easier for us just to go and um, grab something, bite to eat while we're out and about rather than coming back, spending like an hour uh, cooking, even having to buy the food, you know, and store it because it was really hot in summer. So with the fridge and the motorhome, although it's quite good, like if we're out in the sun all day long, it sometimes like things don't stay fresh. So you need to kind of buy them and then eat them like within two days. So wasn't always the best in Turkey, but now we're heading back to Europe it's gonna be a bit different and we're gonna start eating in the van again. I'm so looking forward to cook again. We said chicken liver or? I think so. We don't know. It was hmm. in Turkish so <laughs> I have no idea. It's good, you like it or? Hmm. Yeah, it's good. You don't like it. It's very healthy though, huh? I read that if you eat liver, it's good for your liver. Yeah. Mm. I miss the dish that my mom used to make. So here we have this small dessert. It's called Kazandibi and it looks like this. Oh, and I'm going to miss this. <laughs> this is our last one from Turkey. Or maybe tomorrow we go and buy more. Mm. What do you think? Mm? What do you think? We go and buy more? Well, I think we need to start our diet again. <laughs> I'm going to miss this so much. Usually, we share one, me and Chris. What do you mean usually? We always share one. Yeah, so we're not sharing today? Oh. As you can see, our van is a total mess. And we have no energy to clean. <laughs> we haven't got much energy. But the sink is full of dishes. The bed is full of rubbish as well, we need to clean up this place. The most important is that we got the tea. Yeah, we stocked up on some uh, Turkish tea and we're just gonna clean up now everything and have an early night. I think this is one of those feelings that when you're not looking forward for something, you know, it's like your mood changes, not to the bad, but I don't have any bad moods, but I have no energy at all. Maybe because we're leaving and I'm not looking forward for entering Europe. <laughs> maybe that's the case. Or maybe because I came here and I didn't swim. Mm -hmm, could be. Well, let's have a cup of tea. That always solves everything. Yeah. As you can see, friends, I am on the contrary, feeling energized to get things done. No, but jokes aside. We are really tired 
And it could be, yeah, just because we're kind of in a bad mood that, not a bad mood as such, but kind of bummed that the trip has come to an end. Yeah, I think so. But, I think that's it. Yeah, does that ever happen to you? Like when you've been looking forward for something and you've been enjoying yourself so much, like when it's coming to an end, you're kind of like, you don't want to start the next chapter. But I'm sure like as soon as we get it started, then we kind of enjoy it as well, you know? That always yeah. happens. But for now, it just feels a bit, uh, you know. Holly, on the other hand, is super energized. <laughs> and we are not in the mood for it, unfortunately, today. <laughs> so we'll take her out for a quick walk, get this van cleaned up, and then we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. This is what we're going to miss. The music. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Another sunny day today for our final few hours in Turkey. Uh, the wind has picked up a bit though, so we're not gonna be doing any swimming today. It's not really that inviting, is it? No. Plus it's Sunday. There are many people as well. Yeah, there's so many people. And I just feel sad that we're leaving and I'm not going to swim. But there is nothing I can do about that. <laughs> no worries. I'm sure we'll swim in some lakes in Europe, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> so we're just walking along the promenade. We're going to try and get one final Turkish breakfast. Um, and we'll hit the road then. We're going to go and do some final shopping again and head towards the border. We came to this place by the sea. I feel so happy that I'm looking at the sea right now. <laughs> it feels very refreshing and it feels so good. Pity that we're not going to see it for a while. So we ordered two gozleme and two chai. We've got Holly here. They told us that there is a dog here as well, a big one. So eyes open. Yeah, our eyes are open and we're on alert for something. Yeah, I'm just enjoying my last bit in Turkey. So while we're we waiting for the gozleme. You have a ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> my pocket. They're everywhere here. They are, they are. I get it. So while we're waiting for our gozleme, next week we're going to do a question and answer video. So if you have any questions at all that you'd like to ask us, either about our Turkey trip, van life in general, or anything really, to ask your question, you can either drop a comment down below in today's video and we'll try and answer as many as we can. If you prefer, you can even send us a DM on Instagram. I'll put up our Instagrams now on the screen and just send your questions there, or as I mentioned, in a comment down below. It's super windy and yeah, I'm not going in today. Until next time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Our final gozlema. <laughs> With chips. <laughs> Last. Chai. Yeah, it's good chai as well. Yeah. Holly, back off. Even the gozem are really good. Back off. Yum yum. <laughs> so we've got two different types of gozlem here. This one is just with cheese only, and this has cheese and potatoes. Yeah. Mix it up a bit before we leave. Mm -hmm. So gozlem is hands down my favorite food here in Turkey. Mine too. And the cigar as well. So Charlene has just stopped off at the shop for one last time to pick up some last things and we're going to make our way to the border. Something that I forgot to mention is that last night we didn't get too much sleep. There was a wedding or something going on nearby and on the other side where we were parked up there was like some barbecue which kept on going till late. Uh, being Saturday night that's one of the things like in Turkey uh, these places near the beach you get a lot of locals where they meet up like with their friends and have like a little barbecue or party. Uh, fair play, but for us, <laughs> we couldn't really get to sleep. So we had a little nap now in the afternoon and being a hot day, it's going to be better because we can drive towards the border now that it's nice and cool and start making our way uh, through Bulgaria. So we're going to be passing from a different border crossing from the one that we come through. A uh, few guys that have been following us for quite some time, you remember that we passed from the coast of Bulgaria and we stopped by Burgas and entered Turkey 
from the north uh, border. But this time we're going, to, we're going to be cutting across. I'll put up a map on the screen to show you which one we're going to be taking. And the plan is from there to shoot through Bulgaria uh, with no stops and arrive at Sofia tonight. Now, for those of you that have just started following us, uh, just to give you a bit of an idea of our Turkey trip. So when we entered Turkey, we then went south and we headed to Çanakkale, all the way down the coasts. The only place that we missed was Bodrum, I believe. And we did that so that we could head inland towards Pamukkale and Lake Salda. And then from there, we went back to the coast, Marmaris, all the way towards Antalya. The turquoise coast was absolutely stunning. And then from there, we went up to towards the Ehlara Valley, Cappadocia, Ankara, and now Istanbul, and back out again. So it was an amazing trip. Um, we initially wanted to really check out the eastern side of Turkey, but because there was so much to do and so much to see, we ended up uh, only making it as far as Antalya along the coast. So that means that we will be back for another part for sure, because we want to check out then east of Antalya. So you've got Mersin, Gaziantep, Mardin, so many interesting places there uh, along the area of Turkey, which unfortunately we couldn't fit in. So there will definitely be another Turkey series coming to you soon. I don't know whether it'll be next year, but it'll be in the next, let's say, one to three years for sure. And there was also the Black Sea region, which we didn't really explore much um, of Turkey. So the eastern side and the northern side, we need to come back for you. So yes, I'm just waiting for Charlene now. She's going to get some final things from the supermarket and then we'll make our way towards the border. It's the last time we're seeing the sea. Bye. Oh. Farewell. This is so sad. <laughs> the end of one chapter needs to happen in order to start the next. Yeah. That's the way I look at it. All I know is we've got a freaking long drive ahead of us and we need to be, we need to make it to Italy in five days. Well, in four days now, because our first day is nearly gone. <laughs> what we will do, we'll just stop before the border and refuel because as soon as we leave Turkey, the fuel is going to be much more expensive. Now, saying that, since we arrived in Turkey a few months ago, the price of fuel has gone up about 30, 40 percent, I'd say. Yeah. It's been crazy, like going up. Obviously, the lira has been going down, so for us, it's been kind of leveling out. But it's crazy to see the prices like getting higher and higher every day. It's definitely hard for the Turkish people, I'm sure. It is, it is, and it's hard for me to say goodbye to the sea as well. Poor Charlie. I just love when we drive late at night because this is a real summer feeling. We have the wind and we can look at the stars. They are all shining and there is no chaos in the street it's just us and a few other cars and yeah I love it this is a typical car that you only see in Turkey so change of plans we've just been looking at the maps and the drive to Sofia is about six hours long from here so it's gonna be a bit too much and it's a bit later than I thought, so yes. Charlene's looking at me like that because she was like, how the hell are we going to get there tonight? And I was like, <laughs> don't worry, I'm going to drive. And I've just been looking at the the time. Adding on six hours, it's going to be like four o'clock in the morning. So we've decided to spend the night here, uh, just about 45 minutes to an hour away from the border. We're in this place called Chorlu. Chorlu, yeah. We end up getting some more chai. More chai. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll pick up with you guys in the morning and we'll head across to the border and hopefully make it to Sofia tomorrow. Good morning and welcome back to another day in Turkey. 
This is our final day. And we came to this place, Bridge, Bridge, Bridge Stone? Bridge Stone, yeah. And um, yeah, Chris is checking about the tires. Maybe they have four tires for us. And while Chris is negotiating, I'm eating these fix. Oh, he's here. So they don't have the tires in stock, but... No? They're just gonna check our ones and see how much we got left. Ah, okay. Because I think we are pushing it. <laughs> so we just stopped at this Bridgestone place to see if he's got the tyres. Um, they haven't got in stock and they've sent us to another one back in Chorlu, which is like 45 minutes back where we were yesterday. And while we were turning around, I think, in their yard, we've got something stuck in our tyre, like a screw or something. And he said that it's big. Yeah, it's a big one. So the plan now is to continue our journey there because here they don't have any tyres which fit ours. And if we have to change the tire with a spare one it's still the same so we are going to drive this one hour with 30 kilometers per hour yeah, we drive slow and hopefully they will have them in stock and we'll change them all yeah we're just hoping for that right now would you believe yeah i got this bloody nut or screw whatever it is stuck in the tire at the tire shop so yes our final day well we don't know yet if it's our final day here but something like that <laughs> oh this road we're passing from it's not a highway it is a two-way street on both sides and we can drive with 30 kilometers per hour right now because otherwise it's a nightmare to drive when there are a lot of cars passing by, you know, and when it's a busy road. So thank God this is the perfect road to drive with 30 kilometers per hour. So the sound of the tire is no longer there. In any minute it can explode now, I think. <laughs> No, seriously, we have to really drive slow. A few moments later. Hmm, call this number. They are towing agency. Mm -hmm. Where are they though? Here. Not far. Uh, hello, uh, do you speak English, please? English. No. no English. Anyone has uh, WhatsApp? You have WhatsApp? Uh, hello, uh, do you speak English, please? So you don't have some. Now, is there anyone who can help us? Because we're stuck on the highway outside of. Um, I give you phone number, phone number. Would they come and change it, like with a spare tire or something? Just. Yes. Uh, you write it. Yes, please. Yeah. Zero five. Yeah. Okay, I will call them. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Ciao. Ah. Don't get too excited. Hello, uh, do you speak English, please? Uh, English. No? Uh, is there anyone who speaks English? Uh, we have problem. Okay, I give you the number I have. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, So we've been here in Turkey for months and no problems whatsoever. Well, maybe a few problems, but nothing serious. The brakes only. Yeah, That's that, the only problem we had here. That was an easy fix though. 
And now on the last day, we're here stuck on the side of the road. Well, hopefully they'll uh, be able to help us. So I'm just messaging this guy on WhatsApp. Let's see, like if he's got the all season tires, we'll just change them here on the side of the road, hopefully. But if not, at least they can maybe come and help us, <laughs> give us a spare tire so we can make it to Chorlu. Oh my God. And then to Bulgaria, hopefully. <laughs> and then we'll start our journey, yeah. Oh, plus it's really hot today, man. And I can't open the window because cars are shooting by us. But at least it's not a busy one, look. Mm, kind of, yeah, but... Yeah, it's not busy, busy. So yeah, let's just sit here and wait. And hopefully. They come. <laughs> Someone will come and help us. And I knew it, like we should have never... I don't know, we're stupid, I think. We should have never done... We should have, we should have never attempted to do like 50 kilometers with that in the tire. We only lasted like 10 kilometers and we stopped. We have four seasons. Four seasons like uh, winter and summer. Yeah, Can you use, uh, yeah that's what we want. Yeah. So what's the total price if we do all four? Okay, four seasons, four tires, the day will come in, okay? Yes, yes. Hey, you wanna? Hey, I'm in down. So this one is our problem. He's doing the cones. So look, yeah, it's got this one. So all season tires should be good. Very, very good. Limonata. You like limonata? Okay, huh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, look, look. So they're gonna change only one tire here at this spot. And then after we're gonna uh, follow them to the garage. So this guy has a fan in his car. Yeah, it's normal. Like that. <laughs> it's so old. It's so cute at the same time. So this is where we were this morning. <laughs> and we're just opposite now. We stopped to eat for a bit because we're hungry and I'm cooking these patties that we buy from here some peppers and onions that's all for today So we can only get one chai because we only had five Turkish lira left and this place doesn't take hard. So one chai between us. 
Wow, glad that we got that sorted. They were really nice guys there at the shop. Yes. And I'm really thankful because it happened here in Turkey as well, because otherwise we would have a totally different um, problem back yeah. in Europe. Yeah, they were quick to help us. And the reason why we didn't call like the emergency number, because like with our insurance, we've got this number where we can call. But um, I think it was just like easier just to get in touch with someone there locally. And in fact, price wise, like for the tires, I'll put up the name of the tires that we bought. Um, we ended up buying all four of them and uh, service and everything. The fact that they came out and everything was about 490 euros. And I've just looked up the tires and they're quite good. So much, much cheaper than Europe. So glad we got them done here at least. What's funny about this whole situation is how it happened because this morning, Chris told me, oh, let's go and check this garage, you know, maybe they have our tires. Yeah, because we were looking for Bridgestone tires. So I found these Bridgestone all season Duravis tires and we stopped by this place to see if they had. And then they told us you have to go to... Um, back to Chorlu. Back to Chorlu. And then after that, there, I think. That's where we got the nails stuck yeah. in. Yeah, we turned around and it was so funny because a few minutes after we started hearing this weird noise and yeah, we said, okay, let's stop and let's check what it is. We checked, we saw it and then a few minutes later it exploded. I don't know <sighs> if it exploded least... or not, but it went straight in and a flat tire right away. <laughs> yes. So no way we were driving on that. And as soon as we left from that place, initially, we saw the other Yeah, we saw this guy shop. before, we should we go and check but it out? But then, yeah, we said, <laughs> oh, it's a small one, maybe they don't have yeah. this one, this, this brand that yeah. he wanted. And we ended up there in the end. So. And then we ended up there, yeah, in the end. And it's really ironic and funny that this is on our last day in Turkey. But I think now we are really ready and... Hopefully we can start our journey back to Europe. Uh, so I think that's it for today's video. Yeah, I think we have enough footage. <laughs> yeah, hope you enjoyed watching us. And um, don't forget now, at the bottom of the video in the comments, drop your questions, because next week we're going to be recording a video answering all your questions about van life, about Turkey. Just ask us anything. So you can either drop it in the comments down below, or else these are our Instagrams. Um, up on the screen, mine or Charlene, and just send us a DM on there with your Q&A question and uh, we'll try and answer as many as we can. And we're gonna, I think, start, start. our journey. So we'll see you then. Properly. <laughs> we'll see you then in the next vlog for our journey from here to Italy in five days. Ciao. Bye. Bye.